Hi, this is Anna Hackman of Green Talk and Green Sisterhood. Today on the show, we have Alicia Voorhees of Earth Mama Angel Baby, and we're going to be talking about why it's so important for you to know what's in your personal care products. So let's get right down to the questions. Hi, this is Anna Hackman from Green Talk and Green Sisterhood. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this video today is I am so concerned about personal care products. I'm not a scientist. I don't know the ingredients. I don't understand it. I can't imagine that you don't feel the same way that I do. So I wanted to bring on an expert. So I brought on Alicia Voorhees of Earth Mama Angel Baby. Thank you, Alicia, so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Anna, for having me. And one of the reasons I wanted Alicia is is because of Earth Mama Angel Baby's mission. And, you know, one of the, their mission is, and their number one priority, I understand, is to inform consumers and other companies so they can help us keep our babies safe. I love that, Alicia. What a great mission statement. Isn't it great? They, they definitely um, are not all about just selling products. They're really interested in, in letting others know uh, how simple it can be to make changes little changes for big impact in the health of your child. So let's get right into the questions. So Lisa, why should we be concerned about our personal care products? Well, you would think that something as simple as baby shampoo or lotion, really you shouldn't have to worry about it. But studies have proven that most types of skin care easily cross the skin and they're readily taken right into the bloodstream. And you, you would know this if you just look around at the sudden upsurge in different kinds of medication patches like estrogen and progesterone. They're prescribed by our doctors and um, you put right on the skin and in they go, right into the bloodstream. So it is important for us to choose truly safe skincare for our little ones, especially because they're so much more vulnerable and they're growing, they're eating, they're sleeping, they're developing at a rapid rate, and so they're more susceptible to these chemicals. So what you're saying is our skin's like our biggest organ. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we used to think that there was a barrier, that it kind of worked as a shield. And it does for some things, but for a lot of things, it really does allow chemicals to seep right in and go into the bloodstream. So we may have endocrine disruptors going in there flipping switches that shouldn't be flipped during key developmental stages for our children. You know, this really concerns me, Alicia, because I'm not a scientist. Mm -hmm. So how do I know what's safe and what's not safe? Well, I tell you what, we're definitely manufacturers and our number one concern is safety, but we're also moms with little kids. You know, we're just like you. We go to the store and we're picking up a product, we're flipping it over because we know we're supposed to read labels, right? We're all getting the hang of that. Um, but you know, I see ingredients on there and I am completely flummoxed sometimes at what I find. You know, I can't pronounce them. I have no idea why they're in there and are they harmful? I don't know. It's like we have to be this extraordinary researcher. You know, like we don't have enough to do already as parents. So one thing that you can do to simplify your, your burden just a little bit is to just go ahead and choose certified organic products so that there is, you know, somebody else kind of monitoring what's happening and those ingredients. They're not just throwing in, you know, a complete cocktail of whatever they might, you know. Um, one of the interesting things that I learned uh, a few years ago is that I should really try to avoid fragrance because fragrance actually allows manufacturers to legally hide over 3,000 different chemicals. And, you know, I, I prefer to know that a company is helping me choose safely by letting me make an informed decision. And so a certified organic, you can do that. So what does that mean, certified organic? Well, you know, um, I've noticed, as I'm sure you have, there are a whole lot of skincare products out there, especially recently, with those kind of buzzwords. And one of those buzzwords is organic. You'll see it in the name on a label. It might be organic baby lotion. And, um, and if you turn it around and look at the label, you'll see that, yeah, there are some or, uh, certified organic ingredients in there. But the, the problem is and where we get tripped up is that the whole product itself is not certified organic. So they also will add in a few other things along with that. So, you know, we're worrying about pesticides that came in the raw materials that we're getting straight from the farmers even that go into these, you know, the coconut oil. 
um, the shea butter, you know, some of the herbs that we infuse into our products. So it's really important for you to not be caught up and tricked into buying something that says organic or natural in the label. What you want to do is look for that certifying body. And we do that at Earth Mama Angel Baby. We invest in uh, um, having it done. It's, it's, it's a big deal. It's a, it's a large effort to have a third party come in and oversee everything that we're doing from the very start raw ingredients till the very end uh, product so that there aren't any claims that can't be verified or backed up on our products. It does happen. So if you could give one last tip, because you know a lot of moms don't turn over the package and look at the label. Mm -hmm. You know it's kind of scary to see all these ingredients with names like you said you can't even pronounce. So if right. you can give them one tip of what you think that they can do that can just give them a little bit more a comfort that they're choosing a safer right. product, what mm -hmm. would that be? You know, I'd have to say, if say you, we all have products that we're already using. Even if you're going to start switching out and using more certified organic products, the best idea is to go turn those bottles over. And if you see something that just kind of makes you go, wow, what is that? You know, I can't even pronounce it. The best step is to go to the Environmental Working Group's Skin Deep Database and research that ingredient for yourself. They have done a lot of a great um, pulling together of information, research studies. They're all linked in their database. So you can look and see. You know, they do give it a rating from 0 to 10. And the higher the number, you know, things over 3, I tend to stay away from. And um, at least that you can be an informed consumer, and um, that way you can choose to work with companies that actually do label, they include every ingredient on the label, not just the ones they want you to see. And the last thing, because I, I, people may not know about your company, so just tell a few things that you actually do at your company, you know, products that you actually make that make baby safe. Sure. We are uh, very focused on mama and baby. So anything that mom needs during her pregnancy, during her uh, postpartum, we have all kinds of great products for the southern parts, you know. Um, and then we also take care of baby from the top of their head to the tip of their toes. So we've got really amazing pure Castile soap and it's all organic. And then we've also got really amazing lotion. We've got little bath blossoms for their, their bath time. And um, the thing that I love a best about a lot of the products that we make at Earth Mama is that number one, they're they're fused with herbs, which are healing, and number two, they can be used for a myriad of alternative ways. So you know, the the nipple butter isn't just for breastfeeding moms. You know, it takes care of those chapped elbows and knees, and um, you know, the the Happy Mama spray is kind of an aromatherapy. Well, I take it with me in the car because I get nauseated, car sick like crazy. All I have to do is do a little squirt and um, I am just settled right away. So there's a many, many ways that you can use Earth Mama products. Well, Alicia, thank you so much for coming on the show today and explaining to us these simple tips on how to be safer with the products that we choose. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Anna. Thanks for having me.